de uma empresa londrina chamada Neurosense. Do you have a lot of clients? Yes, such as uh, Unilever, Intel, mm -hmm. McDonald's, Procter Gamble, uh, MTV ou Viacom. E ela diz que é um ramo em ascensão. What we've seen is a sort of snowballing effect over the last few years. I think there are about 92 neuromarketing agencies worldwide. Mas alguns especialistas questionam se será ético analisar o cérebro para efeitos comerciais e dizem que os responsáveis pelo neuromarketing podem estar a prometer mais do que conseguem cumprir. In all cases, that that person desires chocolate chip cookies, and what a lot of people are doing is they're just imaging the brain, then they're declaring what that means, and they're never proving that it actually translates into behavior. You know, it's very interesting when you show someone a brain scan; people just believe it. It just reeks of credibility. Absolutely, and absolutely. And you telling me that's the area where people add and subtract. I thought, well, of course, he knows. But I could have told you anything. I know. So as brain imaging, a medida que a análise ao cérebro continua a avançar e a surgir nos tribunais, no mercado e sabe-se lá em que outros aspectos da vida, uma das mensagens é ser cauteloso, outra é estar preparado. De novo em Carnegie Mellon, Justin Mitchell já descobriram no nosso cérebro as assinaturas para a bondade, a hipocrisia e o amor. Hypocrisy and love. It's breathtaking. Yes. And kind of eerie. Well, you know, I think the reason people have that reaction is it because it reveals the essence of what it means to be a person. All of those kinds of things that define us as human beings are brain patterns. We don't want to know that. <laughs> well, <laughs> that it all boils down to, uh, I don't know, molecules and things like that. But we are, you know, we are biological creatures. You know, our limbs we accept are, you know, muscles and bone. And our brain is a biological thinking machine. Do you think one day, who knows how far into the future, there'll be a machine that'll be able to read very complex thought, like um, I hate so and so, or you know I love the ballet because? Definitely, definitely, definitely. And, and not and not in 20 years. I think in three, five years. Ample in does. In three years. Well, five. <laughs>